It is bound to be an unruly Labor Day event coming at a time when Kenyans are facing tough economic times as a result of high food prices and subsequently a high cost of living. Never mind the poor attendance, the man who had until the occasion raised hopes of workers upheld his demand for an increase in workers' wages. Yes! People are suffering. Yes! At all his demands, all directed at the government. And the man representing the government was Labour Minister John Munez, with President Kibaki and Prime Minister Raila Odinga both skipping the event. And so when Labour Minister John Munez rose to speak, all they wanted to hear about was a wage increase. The increase was much lower than the 60% sought by Kotu. And with that totally categorical, he will settle for nothing short of 60%. A standoff now looms between the union and the government. Kama nyongeza hiyo si sawa. Jumanne sisi tunatoa notice. According to the regulations of wages order 2010 of the Ministry of Labor, a 12.5% increase means the least paid worker will now get an increment of 842 shillings in Nairobi, Mombasa and Kisumu to earn 7,585 shillings. In all municipalities and town councils, such a laborer will earn 6,998 shillings from 6,221. In all the other areas, they will earn 4,046 shillings up from 3,597. The highest paid worker in the minimum wage category currently in Nairobi, Kisumu and Mombasa earns 15,216 and is now set to earn 17,118 shillings. In municipalities and town councils, such laborers will earn 16,108 shillings up from 14,319 and in all other areas 15,104 shillings from 13,426 shillings. Nimeifuraia. Nimevaa bora upate uongeswe. Hakuna kitu kingine utafanyia kuliko kaburo. Mjibu bila watu wana sida. Bado ingali chini. Sisi wafanyiki, sisi wafanyiki hizo umma tunaumia zaidi. Kwa la nyetu tutamwachia bwana Tori ambaye alikuwa amesema ya kwamba ikiwa itakuwa sio kiwango kile ambacho alikuwa ameweka cha 60%, e, tunatarajia jambo ambalo yeye mwenyewe ataamua na sisi tutaunga mkono atakuwa nyuma yake. With the new increment on workers wages way below the 60% being asked for by Kotu, it remains to be seen whether people will be receptive to it and the ultimate effect it will have on the high cost of living. For Sunday live I'm Hussein Mohammed in Nairobi.